But it's a Finance Monday and uh, we're ready for today's West Bank How To Show. And like we said, today's theme is all about structuring your car loan and uh, finance agreement. So... Well done. The bank has approved your application for car finance. Now it's time to structure your finance agreement. There are a couple of things that you need to know before you structure your finance agreement. And we'll be uh, busting some finance terms on today's show. Specifically balloon payments and what it means. Linked interest rates versus fixed interest rates. Rudolf Mahoney from West Bank is back on air to help us understand these terms and give you advice on how to structure your car finance so your budget doesn't go bang. Another quick reminder to get your questions or send us a term that you would like Rudolph and his team to bust go to our West Bank Asset Finance Facebook page and at West Bank on Twitter using the hashtag hashtag West Bank how to to get their attention we may just ask your question live on air in a couple of minutes Rudolph welcome back to Metro FM hey Bonang nice to be back now first question let's get straight into it man these are terms I've heard that I also don't understand so thank you very much for this theme if maths wasn't my strong point at school who can Help me structure my car loan. Uh, B, you know, every uh, accredited and uh, a reputable car dealership will have uh, a person that's, a, that's called a finance and insurance manager. Uh, they are specially trained and qualified people, um, and, they, and they are there to help you, give you the right advice. Uh, they are there to do a, a, a proper needs analysis on you. They will look at your financial situation, and then this person will do will, will give you recommendations on which, um, for example, warranties and extra insurance products you need to purchase. Uh, but this person is also there to help you, give you the uh, the right advice to structure your the, the, your finance deal according to your specific finance uh, situation in life. All right. Okay. Um, I love that everybody's listening. They really appreciate appreciate this feature. I got a, a, a question on Twitter from Vuyo Matsaya, and uh, he's asking how he should go about structuring his car loan. Yeah. So the four basic things that you need to keep in mind when when considering uh, your, your your car loan is um, the term that you want to repay this loan over. Mm-hmm. So the National Credit Act allows us to finance cars over a longer term than what we could before. So now you can choose between anything between 12 months and 72 mm-hmm. months. So obviously, if you finance a car over a longer contract period, then you will pay more in interest, but your installments become less. Okay. Mm. Um, the other the other factor that you need to keep in mind is if you want to pay a deposit or not. Um, when you pay a deposit, it reduces the the outstanding balance on your loan. You pay less interest on that, um, and you get out of de- debt uh, uh, sooner as well. So so that's also something to consider. Um, and then balloon payments. Um, a balloon payment is almost similar to a deposit, where a deposit you pay at the beginning of the contract, a balloon payment you just pay at the end of the contract. Okay, so what basically happens is we take a, a certain amount of, of uh, out of the car loan and we move it to the end, and then your installments are then calculated on the reduced amount. So a balloon payment also reduces your monthly installments, but then you need to pay a very large amount at the end of the contract. Term. So that's mm. basically the difference between a balloon payment and and your your um, at a deposit. But Rudolph, then would you say balloon payment is a good or bad idea? Um, it depends on the individual. So um, a balloon payment is normally used when someone wants to buy a car that you really cannot really afford. And so um, in most cases, it's not a good uh, not a good idea, especially for the first time buyer. I don't think it's a very good idea. All right. But if you are well versed in financial terms and if you understand the complexities of vehicle finance or finance in general, then there's no reason why a balloon payment cannot be used uh, to maximize your situation. That's fantastic. Well, Rudolph, thank you so much for explaining those terms. But can you give us a, a quick rundown on uh, you know, interest rates? We may need to have a show later, I think, uh, dedicated specifically to interest rates. As I hear, the interest rate may be going up uh, later on this month. Yeah, on the 23rd of oh, July, the, the, the Reserve Bank is the meeting. It's on my birthday. Can you believe it? Oh, <laughs> terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, So when you buy a car, you can choose between a a fixed or a linked interest rate, okay? Now, a fixed interest rate means that your installments for the uh, whole contract term will not change at all. So regardless if interest rates are going up or down, um, your payment will remain the same. Um, A linked interest rate um, is is then linked to the prime rate. Um, and then if the Reserve Bank decides to, to, to increase or decrease uh, the, the, the prime rate, then so your installments will also go up and down. So that's basically um, how interest rates work. Now, the advice that we have for our listeners is that 
um, if we if we are in a situation as we are now where it's most likely that interest rates will be going up then we recommend that you that you consider a a fixed interest rate for your car loan right now because if your interest rates goes up then your at least yes. your installments will remain the same yes but if we come to the end of the cycle uh, or maybe in a year or two when interest rates have now been increased by the reserve bank a couple of times then at that point in time it's probably best to to then opt for a linked interest rate because rates are then high and the outlook is that they will be coming down so then you will be able to then uh, benefit from a, a reduced interest rate as well. Now, Rudolf, the, the, the prime lending rate right now is at 9.25%, correct? What You said it's going up. What figure do you think we're looking at? Um, well, just uh, listening to what the Reserve Bank is saying and the way that they've been um, managing interest rates, I think that they will most likely increase it by 25 basis points. So that prime rate uh, will be a 9 rand or, or 9.5%. Now, on the average West Bank transaction, that's not a hell of a lot of money. It's about okay. 40 rand on your average transaction. So it's not okay. going to change it fundamentally. All right. Fantastic. Well, Rudolf, thank you so much. You're always a dream. Lovely to have you on the show. Thank you very much for coming Love through. Love being here. <laughs> and we hope that West Bank has helped you bust some of the complex finance terms and understand how to structure your car loan. If you still have questions, post them on the West Bank Asset Finance Facebook page and uh, at West Bank on Twitter using the official hashtag, hashtag West Bank how to. Thanks Rudolph for showing us that our car finance is easy once you know how. Now next week, listen to this, we'll be looking at some of the mistakes that car buyers make, how to avoid those common blunders and what else you can do to protect your car. It's 11.47.